Hello everyone, welcome back to My Left Eye. It's been reported that the Labour Party have received a record £13 million from individual donations recently. Last year the Tories increased election spending limits from £19 million to £34 million, almost double the previous amount. But the majority of donations came from just three individuals. Who are they and what does this mean for Labour and its policies as we head towards a general election later on this year? Let's see what's happening. First of all, a reminder of Labour's finances when Keir Starmer took over the party in 2020. Former leader of the opposition Jeremy Corbyn left behind a purse of around £35 million as under his leadership most of the money came from small public donations and membership subs after the number of people signing up rocketed to well over 500,000 making them the largest political party in Europe at the time. After Starmer threw Corbyn under a bus and then took over the party by committing to a series of now broken pledges and dragging the party firmly to the right wing, Members left in droves, as well as being purged for criticising Israel, which hit Labour coffers hard, and Starmer soon burned through the £35 million left by his predecessor. Trade unions such as Unite massively reduced party donations because of a dissatisfaction with the direction that Starmer is leading the party. Labour have had to reach out to individual donors to fill the gap. But what are they likely to expect in return from the donations? Let's take a close look into it. So these are the three largest donors according to this BBC article. Labour Party Chair Annalise Dodds said the party had achieved its best fundraising year ever. The Conservatives' fundraising outpaced Labour's by about £17 million. Three individuals donated more than £8.5 million to Labour in 2023, taking personal donations to a 19-year high. The biggest donations came from Gary Lubner, who's a South African who made his fortune through vehicle window repair and gave the highest amount of any single donor at £5.2 million. Supermarket tycoon Lord Sainsbury of Turville donated £3,070,000 and his daughter Frances Perrin became the highest donating woman the party has ever had, giving £1,060,000. Individual donations in 2023 were more than double the year before and £5 million higher than in 2019. This year, Labour also received more than £1 million from Ecotricity, the renewable energy company owned by multimillionaire Del Vince. Del Vince had previously been a financial supporter of Just Stop Oil, however, has since recently removed his support for Just Stop Oil and concentrating on donating to Labour, although with Starmer pulling out of the £28 billion green pledge recently, I'm not sure exactly where Dale expects to get a return on that investment we'll have to see as things move along. The party's 2023 total is £13 million higher than in 2022 and £6 million higher than 2019, which Ms Dodds credited to the party leadership. She says thanks to Keir Starmer's leadership, last year was our best fundraising year ever. She said Labour will turn the page on 14 years of Tory failure with a plan to deliver the change Britain deserves. However, the party still lags 17 million pounds behind the Conservatives 2023 total of 48 million pounds. There are seven wealthy donors who have each given the Tories more than one million pounds towards its individual donations of nearly 36 million pounds last year. The article does appear to point out that although uh, Lord Sainsbury has donated to the Labour Party, also left 10.2 million pounds to the Conservatives after his death. Perhaps that's just more evidence of how closely aligned Labour and the Tories are at the moment. Let us know what you think about that. The article also says Liberal Democrats declared around £8 million in donations and Reform UK £255,000 last year. In total, political parties reported more than £93 million compared with £52 million in 2022 to the Electoral Commission. Though this does beg the question, as Labour have moved away from mostly getting donations from party members, small donations from members of the public across to just a few individuals as to where their allegiances will lie. Assuming that these investors or donators will be uh, expecting something back from their return in terms of Labour policy, exactly what we'll get remains to be seen. I for one would certainly expect that Labour would be beholden to these small number of donors rather than to the general public. But please do let us know your thoughts about this in the comments as well. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please help to spread the good word by subscribing, hitting the like button and sharing our content around. 
You can support the channel even more by joining us with one of our membership packages that have lots of perks for you to enjoy starting from just 99 pence per month. Or to make a one-off contribution, please visit our Buy Me A Coffee page. Links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching. My left eye will be seeing you soon.